everyone, I'm back, it's Carmen, and today we have our August favourites. I honestly feel like I did a favourites like not so long ago, so it's crazy to me that we're already doing August favourites. But, as usual, I'll start with our skincare and makeup first, and then I'll move on to like miscellaneous. So the first thing I have on my list is the Fenty Cream Bronzer and the uh, face brush that came with. I did a review, like a first impression slash a review on these not too long ago. I'll link the uh, video, I think, up here or over there. I've just been using it every day since then. Like, it's just such a nice addition to my uh, makeup routine. So the way that I like to use it is to put this on with the brush um, before I set my foundation or anything. So I put it on, stamp it around here, so around here, the top half of my face. And then what I like to do is, before I go in with translucent powder, I like to use a powdered bronzer and I'll just dust it over this to kind of set this bronzer and to give it a bit more depth because what I find is that when I use it with a powder bronzer, I feel like I look a lot more airbrushed that way. So yeah, I've been really loving the combination of these two plus a powder bronzer, and this brush is just so soft. I'm so tempted to go out and buy more of Fenty's brushes because they're just so lovely. So the second favorite that I have this month, I don't know if you can already tell, but the highlighter that I'm wearing is just, I've really fallen in love with this and I don't think it's a surprise to anyone really but it's the Becca and Jaclyn Hill highlighter in champagne pop which is this one here I've just really loved this highlighter because it gives me such a beautiful glow that suits my skin tone and pretty much goes with any look that I go for because I generally go for warm tones I just love the way it looks in camera on person like in camera it makes me look like I'm so glowy but in person I'm pretty sure a couple of people have commented that my highlight looks blinding in the sun and I know some people aren't into that look and you can definitely share it out with that one but I love the way this looks like I can't stop looking at myself in the camera which sounds really conceited but I can't stop looking at the way that it glows on camera so yes I've been loving the Becca champagne pop highlighter again it's a rediscovery this month so that's it for makeup I don't really have a lot of new makeup to try and test because really where the hell am I going so for skincare I recently started using this Laneige um, skin toner I featured this in my first ever Instagram reel that I made a couple days ago, a week ago or so. My sister actually had this first and then I tried it from her and I just really love not only the scent, which this is, I'd say this is like my favorite kind of skincare scent, which is fresh, not too sweet, not floral or anything. It's just a very nice, fresh smell. I find that with most toners, it doesn't, hydrate my skin enough and I feel like I have to keep going back for more and more and I feel like that's just a bit of a waste of product and a waste of my time but when I use this this is more of like a gel texture so it's not exactly like water like runny like water we are trying to show it on camera Ooh, I don't know if you can see but it's a bit thicker than if it was just toner water and I find that this keeps my skin hydrated enough for the first step of skincare so that I don't have to keep going back and layering the same toner for my skin to not feel very tight after I come out of the shower or after I wash my face. I just love the Neige products in general. I feel like their, hydrate, their hydrating products really do just that. Like it hydrates and leaves your skin looking like you've drank like liters and liters of water. Another toner that I have that I use kind of in conjunction with the Laneige one is this Mario Podescu glycolic acid toner. As you can see it's pretty much on its last legs. Um, but I stopped using it for a while when my skin was going through like a really really dehydrated phase But after I got it back to where um, I want it to be I started using this again and I really noticed a difference in um, the redness of my scarring I don't know if you can see on camera, but I do have um, Acne scars on both sides of my face. I've had them for a 
a long long time and like if I have any new scarring it tends to stay that way for a while and that's just I've accepted it now I mean there's nothing much I can do but when I use this glycolic uh, acid toner I woke up with glowing skin and that's what this is supposed to do it's supposed to help resurface and brighten the skin and I feel like it does just that okay so on to some miscellaneous things that I've been enjoying this month I've been really enjoying these masks from monster threads so these are reusable three layered masks and they've got adjustable ear string things which is really helpful because I have a big face there's no no way no other way of saying it. I have a huge face and most masks as nice as they are they're, they're just too tight around my ear or they're too small around my face and it just doesn't sit right but with this one I have more than enough room in this for my face and it doesn't hurt my ears because I can adjust this. So I've been really enjoying it. I have another one in red just so I have a backup. I've been really enjoying these reusable masks, especially when I have to catch public transport so that, you know, I'm not putting myself at risk and I'm not putting other people at risk of catching um, COVID as well. So another favorite of mine this month that I only just received but I did try them on and I really love them are these earrings from an online store called Elka Creative. So these are what the earrings look like, aren't they the cutest? I really like them because A, I feel like they're super cute for even the colder months but especially when it comes to summer and it's just a colorway that I don't have in my current collection so I thought it'd be a nice addition and I've been buying things from Elka Creative for a while now and I just love being able to support local businesses this is a online company started by two mums I think they're two friends in Brisbane who make a variety of things from like keychains to earrings to brooches and if you're into this kind of style where it's like cute be kind of like statement earrings they are the brand for you they are so cute and they're very affordable as well so if you want to check them out I'll leave a link for these and their store in the description box below go and support these two lovely ladies have been putting out products that are so so adorable for like years so on to clothes now I I'm going to start off with a maybe for me it's not so weird for maybe for other people it's a bit weird one one of my favorite things this month has been ta -da! <laughs> these are uh, period undies from an Australian brand called Bond and I've used them for a couple months now I'm actually gonna put a review up for these soon but as you can probably guess that I did really enjoy them. I find it so much easier and more comfortable to just wear these instead of wearing pads. I'm not a tampon person and I, I'm definitely not a menstrual cup person. I got the ones in black, but they do have other patterns and other cuts for these. So um, I'll link them below for you to try them out. But yeah, I've been really enjoying these um, period panties. I'll definitely be continue to use them. They're a good investment. I've gotten two more things from Black Milk this month and I told myself that after this month I'm not buying anything even though they just released a Harry Potter collection that was just absolutely magical. I bought two things from their collection. Um, so one is this really really cute kind of corduroy-esque dress that I have here. It's got the cute puffy sleeves and a, and a boat neck detail and I had originally ordered this one in a long sleeve too and it was in a pine green colour. I really wanted to like that one too because it'd be perfect for the weather it is right now since it's a bit colder but the sleeves just didn't suit me. My arms were a bit short and it just made me look weirdly bulky so I returned that one but I kept the pink one and I'm so excited to wear this in the summer because I feel like it'll be just such a cute dress to like go out and have picnics in or just you know have a walk in the sun or at a park. Eee, very excited to wear this when the weather gets warmer and my second black milk piece is from the highly 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 hyped up Pokemon collection that came out 
Um, everything was pretty much sold out within like seconds of it being um, released the first time and then they did a very very rare restock of the entire collection which thank goodness that they did because I woke up just before 7, was on my computer, I had everything ready to check out just so I could grab this before it was gone. It's a pokeball dress in the sweetest cut. I love this because it accentuates my waist and it gives me like a very nice body line. I just love the way that this dress sits on me. In, because it's a bit colder now, I can't wear it as is. So I've been layering it um, underneath like long sleeves and stuff like that. But definitely when it gets warmer, I'll be wearing this by itself in all its glory and it's just so cute i love this so much the flare on this skirt is just so flattering and i can't wait for black milk to release more prints in this cut because i just find it so cute although i hope that they will release this cut but a bit longer because like i'm only 25 but i haven't worn any like anything short in a while because just like worrying if I'm flashing or if the wind picks up, then it'll make me flash. Like ugh, I'm just over that life. I'm more like the midi to maxi skirt life now. So yeah, I hope that comes out in a longer length. Very quick, I want to give two shout outs to non-tangible things. So the first shout out I want to give out is to Hamilton being released as a movie on Disney Plus. Oh my gosh, I know that it came out like I know it came out a couple of weeks ago. I don't know. I can't remember if it was in August or if it was in July. But I saw it for the first time with my boyfriend while we were um, FaceTiming each other. And it was so amazing. I just love yeah, how Lin-Manuel Miranda has, has just, you know, written the songs, lyrics, composed all, all of Hamilton by himself. Six years of hard work has definitely paid off. It's an amazing musical masterpiece. Would highly recommend anyone to watch it because it's not that musical where, you know, you would think like High School Musical, it's not that kind of song. It's, it's got jazz, it's got hip hop, it's got R&B. The soundtrack is absolutely amazing. I love all the um, all of the cast and their voices. They've all got such unique, beautiful voices that work so well for Hamilton. I can't rave on about it enough. I honestly listen to the Hamilton soundtrack. I listen like from the beginning to the end, which is like two and a half hours. I would say at least once, if not twice a week, because every time I listen to it, I feel like I'm re-watching the musical in my head via like earphones and it's just, oh, I love it so much. So if you haven't had the chance to check out Hamilton yet, please, please do yourself a favor and go have a look. Um, it's with the original Broadway cast. I mean, you'll never get seats as good as those because you just get to see every expression on their face. And oh, it's just amazing. So yeah, if you've watched Hamilton and if you've loved it as much as me, comment down below which songs that you really enjoyed from it. I definitely have a list, although to be honest, I love like every song that was on that soundtrack. Absolutely amazing. And the second shout out I'm going to give to Elementary. Recently, Elementary um, came on Stan and it's, um, it features Lucy Liu and Johnny Lee Miller who um, plays Sherlock and Lucy Liu plays Joan Watson. Like I really enjoy the way that Johnny Lee Miller has interpreted this Sherlock Holmes. And it's nice to see Watson as a female and in the form of a sober companion with Sherlock being a recovering drug addict. You know, I just love the way that they have been playing off each other. And I love anything that Sherlock, so um, anything like, you know, Robert Downey Jr., Benedict Cumberbatch, um, Johnny Lee Miller, I'll watch all of it. I'll watch anything to do with Sherlock Holmes. And this is, a really good interpretation. I'm only up to, I think, season two, season two, I think. So I've still got a bit of way to go, but I'm enjoying it so far and I hope that the show doesn't lose its momentum. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching me talk about my favorites this month. 
um i also i hope you like my outfit today i feel very private school girl like if i was serena williams or no if i was blair in gossip girl in like the first season when they're in high school i feel like this is what i would wear but thank you so much for watching um please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time i will talk to you soon bye